Hey guys, Chris from the Ultimate Recycler. We're going to do another worm test now. Seeing if we can get rid of some unusual waste in our worm farms. Now, sausage roll anyone? Uh, these are waste. They came from the back of the bakery. They were thrown out. They must have been left over from the day before and I got them out of the skip. So it'd be a good chance to see if these sausage rolls that have been in my fridge for a couple of days now, I suppose, if you can dispose of them in your garden. Now, obviously, it's going to present some problems in that Coco, our boxer, would love these. In fact, we sometimes give her one for lunch. Uh, I'm going to have to make sure she doesn't get in and dig up my worm farm here and feast on four large sausage rolls. Uh, depending where you are, too, this sort of stuff, uh, you might have vermin in your area. I'm not sure. You could be anywhere around the world. You might have raccoons or possums or rats. I think rats are pretty well widespread around the world. So you do have to be a bit careful putting this sort of stuff out in your garden. You don't want to attract uh, non-desirable creatures. But I've got a spot here that I can put them in, give them a test, see if the worms eat them. Okay, I've just sliced all these beauties in half just so that they're not as thick. And we'll lay them out in this spot here. Now when I said a worm farm, it's actually kind of, a, it's a little bit of a tank cut down and I've just throw all sorts of scraps in here you can actually see over that side there there's the remains of a pair of jeans that I recently did a worm test on I'll link that up the top if you want to go and have a look at that so it's not a worm farm as such it's kind of an active compost area and it's amazing what worms and all of other nature's uh, natural recyclers will come in and help dispose of and every now and again I shovel this out and I watered it just before it's a little muddy but this is just fantastic soil for our garden. So it's created from all sorts of stuff. Uh, I like to do tests on everything. Uh, I'm not sure what my worms think of it. They've certainly got one of the most varied di uh, diets in the world, I would suggest. So I'll put some of these upside down and some the right way up. There you can see the meat in them. I'm not really sure exactly what meat they use in sausage rolls. One would like to think that it's nice beef it looks like there's bits of onion in there but uh, if the truth be known on a lot of this processed stuff we probably actually we probably don't want the truth to be known uh, but anyway there we go what did we have four sliced in half sausage rolls and a little bit of pastry we might as well add the pastry and I will cover that over with some carpet mats I've got here I also have a big bedspread to put over the top and as we're coming into the warmer months that will keep it from drying out too much if we go for too long without rain I will water it and we'll check it I don't know it's going to be a while before anything happens we might check it in a couple of weeks and see what's going on okay back here to check on the sausage rolls I hope everyone's had a good couple of weeks it's been exactly 14 days since we last looked at this so we'll see what's going on. We haven't had a lot of rain, but there's been some showery days. It stayed fairly damp. And let's see. Oh, look, there's plenty of mold. Oh, and worms. Great. There's springtails. Um, oh, look at that. The pastry is actually disappearing. Oh, look at the worms. So they're enjoying this. Let's peel back the other mat and have a look. So normally things go mouldy and start to break down with bacteria and then the worms come in and eat the bacteria and look at those. The pastry's gone really slimy. There's lots of little holes in that one. That's unusual. I don't think the worms have done that. And there's some really, really tiny microscopic bugs. There's springtails. And actually the meat's all gone. Did you notice that? Oh, I could, they look like maggots. Now, I don't know if they're black soldier flies or normal blowflies. There's really tiny maggots in there. So the meat has gone, and all we're really left with is the pastry and sort of some sludgy remains of the meat. And the worms are thick as anything in there. So regardless of whether the worms are eating the meat or it's actually the maggots or other little things, you can see some little maggots in there. But look, they're all nature's decomposers they're doing an awesome job 
it has a little bit of a smell to it maybe if i had have checked it one week in it might have smelt more but certainly hasn't been noticeable particularly with all these blankets over the top so they're pretty much gone i mean the bulk of them's gone so all right i'll leave it another week we'll see what the worms have done with the rest of the pastry and uh, i think we can tick this off as uh, as long as you don't attract vermin to your garden it's perfectly fine to dispose of old sausage rolls um, although i would suggest eat them as a first option not in this state but um, if they do become waste well don't put them in the landfill bin don't put them in your curbside recycling bin for just rubbish all that does is create a lot of smells adds to landfill it's just not very environmentally friendly this way we're going to turn it back into beautiful garden soil all right we'll check them in another week just to see what's happened we might leave it too and then we'll finish up this video it has been another fortnight let's do a final check on these sausage rolls and just see what if anything is left okay get down to the mats it's quite damp still and what have we got here well we've got a mass of worms and really not much else that's awesome in fact look at that it's almost purely soil there's a little bit of pastry there that's about all we got left lots of worms this is actually really nice soil let's have a look under the other part oh yeah, there's a little bit more whoa look at that so they've really enjoyed these sausage rolls uh, with the help of the maggots that got into the meat and we have almost more worms than soil there absolutely beautiful lots of tiny worms too so very successful test no problems getting rid of sausage rolls in your garden a little bit of plastic from something might have been off some cardboard um, this spot is just perfect now for another test i'll have to quickly go through my stash of things to test and we'll organize another test here while the weather conditions are pretty good for worm tests i don't do a lot of them over winter but the warmer months are really good so i'll cover this back over now i'll organize another test here but as far as sausage rolls go definitely don't throw them in the rubbish if you've got some that have been in the fridge too long and they're a bit dodgy put them in your garden probably bury them or at least have something over them so that you you know the neighbor's cat can't dig them up or you have any other vermin come into the yard but otherwise i think a really successful test thanks for watching that guys you'll probably never look at a sausage roll the same way again will you if you imagine little things squirming through it um I was pretty pleased with this test and it's good to see that they're totally gone it was what was i think it was four weeks all up a month um so nature's doing its job beautifully in my backyard so thanks for watching i'll do some more test tests soon amongst all the other stuff i do on my channel i appreciate your support and we'll catch you in the next video bye for now